Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in a residential area of Northwich today. This is the beginning of another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. So in Northwich in Cheshire, now this may look like a fairly sort of normal housing estate until you see there's a huge viaduct crossing it. This is Northwich Viaduct, or also known as the Weaver Viaduct, as it takes the Cheshire Lines Committee Railway over the River Weaver. It was opened in 1854, I believe, and it's about, um, what is it, 739 yards long. So it's really quite a large viaduct. It'd be quite, I'd like to live here. It'd be quite cool, you know, it's your house. You get to this viaduct right in front of you. I think that's a um, pretty cool view to have. Look how it completely towers above the whole estate. I think that's that's really cool. I really like that. It just shows it really dwarfs the houses towering above the estate like that. So we're gonna go down this footpath here. We're gonna go under the viaduct and have a closer look. And as I already mentioned, it takes the railway line over River Weaver. So we'll also see the River Weaver. And um, and then we're going to head on to the miniature railway. But firstly, we'll just have a look at this viaduct because it is amazing. I mean, look at it. It's... I just love how it stretches across the valley in the way it does. The place I want to show you is Hunt's Lock on the River Weaver. It's um, it's where the River Weaver navigation and the River Weaver themselves join so if we go underneath well, those houses there just noticed they're built in 1998 so the viaduct is quite a lot older but look at the juxtaposition of modern 90s houses stroke next to Victorian engineering and as we now go under the viaduct we can see the river weaver is just down there so I believe this section of water we can see here is the navigations the um, the main river weaver will be somewhere over there, which I'm hoping we should be able to see in a moment. We've just got to go through here. And um, I'm going to follow this path, and when we get to the locks, I shall show you the locks. So I've just come up the path a little way. Still the viaduct very much dominating the background. I mean, it really is kind of the main notable landmark of North, which you kind of can't miss it if you come to the town. Now we're just coming to Hunt's Lock and there's something rather unusual like show because it's not just you know your usual average lock it's huge for taking you know pretty big vessels. Now just look at the size of that it's no small canal lock so if we go over and of course you get a very good view of the viaduct and look at this you could put about five canal barges next to each other, that's how big it is. There's something here which um, I think is quite cool, and that is more what you'd expect to see on a railway line. So with the railway in the background, here we have some 74 signals. Now these were for the canal boats, there's some more at the other end, so what I assume happened was when they were, so that one there must have been for the smaller lot, and that one there would have been for the larger lock, so that would have been in in the um, go position, so that would have said, okay, you can go in, although as we can see, the gates are currently closed, and this one, the other 74 signal, seems to have lost its arm. There are some at the other end, so we shall, what we'll do is we will walk along up here, and we're going to have a look at the other end, and um, but just one more time, isn't it amazing how much the viaduct dominate the scene. It's very impressive. I think actually while we're here, if you have a look, you can see the girder arch here. So that's the river weaver navigation. I assume the other one is the main river weaver, but we'll go over there in a minute and have a look. So we're divided up behind us. We're now walking through the middle of the two locks. There's the larger one. Even this one is, you know, compared to your average canal lock, it's still quite large. So I'm effectively on an island, I'm surrounded by water, the only way I can access this is over the, the gates of the locks. And what we're going to do now is have a look up this end, because there's some more semaphore signals. And again, one's in the go position, and the other is in the stop position. So 
So um, I think that's really cool that canals had semaphore signals. I think there's one case I know of where a road had them. That was in Worcester. There was a railway level crossing and there were semaphore signals for the traffic, not for the trains. So the traffic to stop. So yeah, look at that. Semaphore signals and um, the Northwich Viaducts in the background. And then looking that way, we can see up the River Weaver and you can just see where the other course goes. So we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. So let's go and have a look at the main River Weaver and again, look at these seven four signals, they're great I think. Um, I can just, I'll just show you while we're here, this is like, a, there'd have been a weight on here, you know, it's not the move, it's seized, but the weight as you can see on this one is tied to the arm of the signal. So it's like counterweight. It's, it's a fail safe method so should the wire break then the weight would put the signal at danger so there's no chance of a train passing signal at danger so i'm now taking you over the gates of the smaller lock and again with a fantastic view of the aqueduct uh sorry not aqueduct viaducts go and do an aqueduct another day i've done aqueduct videos in the past have a look i did one at chirk aqueduct that was quite an exciting day out Now then, we're going to leave the main or the uh, river weaver navigation. Go up this path here, and it already looks quite exciting. What I can see ahead, where we're going to cross the um, actual original course of the river weaver. It looks like this is going to be possibly a suspension bridge. So um, always, look, always enjoy a good bridge, you know, rather than just your normal straight across sort of thing. Something that have made it a bit more exciting so here yeah, it's a suspension bridge in front of us we'll take you over that we'll have a look at the other river weaver and then the plan is we're going to head off to the miniature railway because that's a miniature railway video i do sometimes like to show you some of the local areas so here we are it looks like it swings as well yeah it's a swinging um suspension bridge so if you look here the bridge would turn like that so you can see the workings there so they would actually have uh, boats coming up this section of the river weaver so the whole bridge would swing so it would swing like that and it would rest just there and then a boat would be able to pass through so even more exciting so um yeah i'm really impressed with this so far i'm in, enjoying northwich before we get another view yeah and there's a view of Almost, yeah, there we are, of the viaduct. So let's go and have a look at the main river weaver. And again, look at these seven four signals, they're great, I think. Um, I can just, I'll just show you while we're here. This is like, a, there'd have been a weight on here. You know, it's not the move, it's seized. But the weight, as you can see on this one, is tied to the arm of the signal. So it's like counterweight. It's, it's a fail safe method. So should the wire break then the weight would put the signal at danger so there's no chance of a train passing signal at danger so i'm now taking you over the gates of the smaller lock and again with a fantastic view of the aqueduct uh sorry not aqueduct viaducts go and do an aqueduct another day i've done aqueduct videos in the past have a look i did one at chirk aqueduct that was quite an exciting day out now then we're gonna leave the main or the uh, river weaver navigation go up this path here and it already looks quite exciting what i can see ahead where we're going to cross the um, actual original course of the river weaver looks like this is going to be possibly a suspension bridge so um always, look, always enjoy a good bridge you know rather than just your normal straight across sort of thing something that have made it a bit more exciting so yeah it's a suspension bridge in front of us, we'll take you over that, we'll have a look at the other river weaver and then the plan is we're going to head off to the miniature railway because that's a miniature railway video I do sometimes like to show you some of the local areas so here we are, it looks like it swings as well, yeah it's a swinging um, suspension bridge so if you look here the bridge would turn like that so you can see the workings there so they would actually have uh, boats coming up this section of the river weaver so the whole bridge would swing so it would swing like that and it would rest just there and then a boat would be able to pass through so 
even more exciting. So um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this so far. I'm in, enjoying Northwich. Before we get another view, yeah, and there's a view of almost, yeah, there we are, of the fire duct. So we've come up the path a little way from the suspension bridge, which was just round the corner up there. Here we are back at the viaduct. You can just see how enormous it is. So you've got sort of traditional viaduct, then you've got the girder over the navigation, then another arch, and then you've got another girder over the main river weaver. If you look there, there's a gantry that goes down into one of the boat yards. Now what we're going to do, we're now going to walk back underneath the viaduct and um, we're going to have a look at a couple of other things. So we're going sort of through the trees here. It stretches um, as far as I can see. I mean, you can't really see much because of the trees, but it stretches quite a long way that way as well. So it's, it's a pretty amazing structure. Now you might be able to hear a kind of a roaring sort of water noise. Now, sometimes I'm thinking, is that possibly a train going over? But no, it's not. There is just here, there that's like that's the top of a weir and it looked like you could once walk over it but we can't do that as you can see it's all fenced off but there is a rather large weir I appreciate at the moment you can't see much the palisade fence blocking the view so I'm taking you down this really narrow footpath and when we get up here a bit we will find somewhere I think just here where I can show you the weir properly and look at that. So that is, there's all sorts of, you know, spray coming off it. It's uh, really quite an exciting sight. And the water, you know, is really roaring through. It looks like they can open and close those gates as they need to. And the water is really jumping up as it, you know, crashes through. They've always got the aqueducts above it, and then you've got a little viaduct or walking viaduct over it, which I was hoping to take you on, but obviously we can't. So the plan is now, I'm going to continue up this very narrow path and what I had planned to do was go to Northwich Station, catch the train to Cuddington over this viaduct and then um, we'd have walked to the railway from there but there's had a look at the Sunday timetable there's not that many trains so plan B and that is to walk all the way down this alleyway to Waitrose Well, this is a rather interesting approach to a Waitrose. It's one of those ones where you can actually park your boat almost as close as you can park your car. And look at this, they've kind of made these... Um, this, this isn't the miniature railway, I promise. Um, we're going to, but look, these are effectively the type of train because it's for like launching a boat down into the water. Obviously these are modern replicas for the themed area. So, we've now... This isn't the Waitrose, that's a posh restaurant. Waitrose is the other side. It's really nice though, this marina. It's not quite like Chester Waitrose, um, where I joked that you could, um, you could, it wasn't a joke, but it was quite funny. You could get a canal barge closer than you could your car. Um, so this is the car park and um, here's Waitrose. So I'm gonna go and get a coffee and then we're gonna head to the miniature railway. So, got my coffee, now let's go to the Minutes Railway. In my larder. So, we're now going to go from Waitrose at Northwich to the Mid-Cheshire Society of Model Engineers Railway over in Cuddington. So, we're on the way to the railway now. We're in my car, driving along the A54. And it should be somewhere up here on my left. Is that a place called... Blackmere Craft Village, so that'll probably also be quite interesting as well as the railway itself. So I'm looking forward to this. I had a, enjoyed the morning looking around Northwich, seeing the viaducts, etc., and the River Weaver navigation. Oh, yeah, I can see obviously you can't, but I'm looking ahead, I can see a sign. It says Blackmere Craft Village, and um, it is, yeah, just ahead. So I'm going to turn in, into it now. And um, I wonder what we're going to find. So here we are. It says beautiful, unique, discover a different way to shop, play, eat, and relax. So it sounds very pleasant. It looks very pleasant as well. 
so we've arrived at Blackmere Craft Village in my larder. We're going to find a Metro Railway now, and that's quite a big looking place. It's, well, to be honest, I didn't really imagine anything. I just thought, right, let's go to that Metro Railway today. But it's huge, there's so many different sort of units and everything from, I can see it says there's a falconry bird of prey centre. My girlfriend would like that, let's bring her here one day. And um, various other things, so it looks like the sort of place you could come and quite easily spend a day and, you know, have um, have a good day out here rather than just come on a January afternoon like I have. So, admittedly, I don't even know if the Mitch Railway is this way. I just sort of felt drawn to go this way. Let's see if these signs here make any. Oh, look at that. that. M C S M E Mid Cheshire Society Model Engineers train rides today. So we know we're going in the right direction. So there's a top car park. Um, so it must be up here somewhere. It must be. I imagine it to be the other side of these buildings. It's quite fun when you're sort of looking for a Mitch Railway. You don't really know exactly where you're going, but you know, you know, it's going to be worth looking for. Vintage and collectibles in Poland. That sounds interesting. Um, but we'll have a look at that afterwards if I have a chance because as I said obviously the main reason I've come up here is for the miniature railway. If we go around here, must be around here somewhere. There's a tea room through there, might go and get a cup of tea there afterwards. So I mean it really is a whole village, it's not just like it has it in the name. It really seems like there's a lot of different things to see. Um, as for a railway, still not entirely sure, must be over here somewhere. Another tea room. Oh yeah, I can see the words steam railway. So it looks like finally we found it. I could have parked up here actually. So there's two car parks. There's a lower one where I parked. There's a top one. So um, I think we are here. It says steam railway. If we have a look here in front of us. Oh, that's quite impressive. A loco there. Let's just go around there. I can see a huge turntable. So um, never been to this railway before. Just waiting for a because we don't look like I know where I'm going. Pound per ride. See a little steam loco out. They've also got a race track, so um, yeah, I think it's time I went and had my ride.
I've just had a very enjoyable trip around the miniature railway. Now, what I've realised is there's actually a public footpath here that crosses the site. So, we're going to go and do that. We're going to walk the footpath, which gives us the opportunity to see some more of the track and I can tell you a bit more about it. So, this is the main station. Now, as you can see, they are doing some work here. They're putting another through line. There goes the whistle for a train to go. You can see they've put some points in there and they're doing some extensions so we can we're going to walk around and we're going to go and have a look at the extensions and of course because they're doing an extension it means i'm gonna to have to come back here at some point when the extensions open and um have a ride so there's various paths around here if we follow the footpath and go up to where two of the extensions are going to kind of meet with the existing track so you would have seen as we passed on the train and it looks like we're gonna the train's just gone out so we should see the train pass as well so as we come up to here see the sign saying beware of the trains so the railway line crosses and i can hear the train coming so the train's gonna pass us in a minute you can hear the horn of the train if you look there's even an engineer's train on the new line that's being built so let's just watch the train go past and i'll tell you a little bit more So, as you can see, the train has gone down there, and if you look that way, you can see where the train has come from. So what's actually happening here is there's going to be a new line going off in that direction, which we're going to go and... I've been given permission to walk the new extension, so we're going to go and do that in a minute. And then the line the train goes on will be slewered this way, and the new line will go along there and run off down there. But what's going to happen first is the extension will open with the line going that way this section of track will be relayed and then eventually when they relay it like i said the track will come across here so they'll effectively be two loops so if we now cross the track out into the woods have a look at this engineer's train i think it's really cool that they've got you know doing some engineering works on a sunday just like they are on the main lines today and they're also doing it here on some miniature railways. So if we have a look here, you can see the locomotive with the engineer's train. It's called Rusty, so that's a seven and a quarter. So yeah, the track is seven and a quarter and the M5 inch. And they've just built this nice new viaduct here. And we're gonna see the train pass on the other section of the tracks. This is New Viola. It's currently only seven and a quarter inch. They haven't put the, the third rail in. They get the train again. We'll just see it pass now. And you can see the new line, which is due to open fairly soon. So we'll certainly come back and have a ride on that. You can see the new line and see how there's three rails, but the third one runs out there. They haven't yet laid the third rail over the bridge. So I'm really looking forward to coming back, having a trip over the bridge. So we're now gonna head off up here. So you can see where the extension is due to go. So you'll get two loops. So while we're here, let's just have a quick look. There's also a racetrack which isn't running today. Here, deep in the woods, we find a raised track it's real. So I'll have to come and have a ride on this one day. Um, if you look, over, you can just see the station over there. There is like a third platform for people to get on and off the racetrack railway. Right, let's go and walk the track bed of the extension. It's slightly opposite to what we sometimes do. We sometimes walk disused railways, which is you know quite fun. Looking at where the track was and trying to imagine how it once looked like. Well, today we're walking along a track bed of where a railway will go and we can imagine what it will look like. You can imagine a little track running along here and a little train, you know, taking visitors for a nice ride through the woods. So it's going to really make this railway a lot longer, you know, more than twice the length, I'd say. You know, we're looking up to three or four times the length. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a good, really nice railway. I mean, it already is a nice railway here in the woods, but it's going to, you know, you're going to get a really long ride. So we'll definitely 
as I say, we will be back to do that. And also that the public footpath, there's another one running that way. So there'll be quite a lot of places where, you know, you'll be able to see the train from. I'm going to carry on walking the extension and I'll show you the other end when I get round there. So we are now coming to near the end of the extension. You may have just heard a whistle from the railway station so you can see we're almost back to where we started. This section here they've actually had to build a bit of an embankment. Now if we look over here, well firstly we're probably about to see a train, it gets to here, they're building a bridge for the new extension to carry it over this this um, depression in the ground. If you look at the existing bridge which we went over on the train, we're about to see a train pass over it. The new bridge they're building though, it's quite a deep, deep down inside the cutting it goes over. So I look forward to that being finished and having a trip on that. Now here, this is the bridge that we travelled over. One thing I quite like is the bridge on the racetrack miniature railway, which is just across here. You can see the racetrack, how they've effectively done what looks a bit like 1960s brutalist style bridge but it obviously isn't 1960s because this railway is fairly new but the other thing i think is really nice is how um so although it's run by the mid cheshire model in this site it's called the sandway edge railway so they've put the initials in um in a mosaic form which i think you know is a really nice touch so soon there'll be three bridges here in a row this one this one and the one they're building over there. I'm now going to walk back to the railway station and it's nearly time for me to jump back in the larder and drive home. I'll just show you a couple more things. They've got quite an impressive large here. Engine sheds in there. I think we're about to hear another hear the train pass again. So that pretty much concludes my afternoon at the Mid Cheshire Model Engineering Society's Miniature Railway. I've really enjoyed it and if you're ever in the area, you know, do come and visit not only the railway but the whole of the Blackmere Craft Village. You could easily spend a day here so that there really is a lot to see. So you know, do come and visit them. So from the Sandway Miniature Railway, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends both about Henry's Adventures and the Sandway Miniature Railway. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.